Good evening and welcome to Complin for Sunday the 24th of May. I'm using the Church of England app on my phone if you want to join me with that uh, as it contains all of the readings that we need for this short service. So we come together at the end of the day to meet with God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We reflect on the day that has been this Sunday. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 86 All nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and in misery. Preserve my soul, for I am faithful. Save your servant, for I put my trust in you. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for you are my God. I call upon you all the day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer, and listen to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my distress I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor any works like yours. All nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wonderful things, and you alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Knit my heart to you, that I may fear your name. I will thank you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name for evermore. For great is your steadfast love towards me, for you have delivered my soul from the depths of the grave. O God, the proud rise up against me, and a ruthless horde seek after my life. They have not set you before their eyes, but you, Lord, are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and full of kindness and truth. Turn to me and have mercy upon me. Give your strength to your servant and save the child of your handmaid. Show me a token of your favour that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed, because you, O Lord, have helped and comforted me. All nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord. God of mercy, who in your great love drew your Son from the depths of the pit, bring your people from death to life, that we may rejoice in your compassion and praise you now and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A short scripture reading. This is from Joel, chapter 2. I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. The old shall dream dreams and the young shall see visions. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. 
Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. The Nunc Dimittis. Alleluia. The Holy Spirit, the Advocate, Alleluia, shall teach you all things. Alleluia, Alleluia. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Holy Spirit, the Advocate, Alleluia, shall teach you all things. Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this day, for the week that preceded it. We give you thanks, Lord, for all the good things that happened to us today and this week. We give you thanks, Lord, for our friends, for our family, for the people that we speak to on the phone and via Zoom or Skype in this time of lockdown. We give you thanks, Lord, that we are coming through the time of lockdown and we can meet again in our churches, perhaps in the future, that we can meet again in the coffee shops and the cafes and the restaurants, that we can meet again in the parks and out for walks. We give you thanks, Lord, for bringing us through this time. Amen. Father, we pray for next week. We pray, Lord, for your strength to get us through the week that comes. We pray, Lord, for your spirit upon us, that whatever the weather might bring us, we can get out at some point and break the monotony of being locked in. Amen. The Collect for today. O oh God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us, and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And may the Holy Spirit of God bless and sanctify us, so that we may be consecrated in the truth. Amen. Friends, go in peace to love and serve the Lord, and have a great week. Bye-bye.